What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Footballers. My name is Tony and you can follow me down below at Lineman Football. Today's video, we're going to be looking at all the best equipment and accessories for D-linemen. Now, if you're new to these videos, what we do is we tell you what the pros choose, what we recommend, and where you can buy it for yourself. Every product we talk about will be linked in the description down below and they're mostly affiliate links, which means they help us out if you use them as well. So today we're going to be looking at the big boys up front, the guys that hold down the front line for the defense. Now we're going to break it up into kind of two sections and we're going to look at D tackles and D ends as kind of different. However, there are going to be some blended gray areas in between as we all know. But what we're going to do is we're going to start at the head and work our way all the way down to the cleats and give you guys recommendations for every single thing you can wear. Let's start at the helmet. So the most popular helmet for D linemen in the NFL is going to be this one right here. This is a Riddell Speedflex helmet. Now we're not 100% sure why this is the most popular helmet with all linemen by far, but I do have a couple theories. Number one is gonna be is I've heard that the padding on a shut helmet is better shaped for a peanut style head. That's gonna be someone with a skinny head like a receiver, where a Riddell Speedflex here or anything in the Riddell line is better for someone with a more bowling ball shaped head like most linemen that have larger heads. So I think that's one reason a lot of people choose the Speedflex. Another one is gonna be this hex panel on the top here. A lot of linemen go head to head, and so I think having this panel right where a lot of that contact is. And the third is going to be the face mask options. I think Riddell has better face mask options for linemen versus shut or even vices at this point. So I think that's another reason people choose to go with it as well. Now, if you want to pick up one of these for yourself, they are $440. We have them linked in the description down below. And this helmet is worn by tons of D linemen, including DeForest Buckner and Randy Gregory. Okay, now next part of the helmet setup we're going to look at is going to be your face mask options. So I kind of broke it down into three levels based on the amount of visibility that you want out of your face mask. So this is going to be the least visibility option and the most popular amongst D tackles. This is going to be an SF2BDC-TX. Stands for speed flex, two bar down, closed is the gap, and TX is going to be the face mask style. These They call these Texas bars. The reason I like any TX style face mask is going to be Texas bars are a lot harder to grab onto because of the angled shape. Now this style gives you a really good built look while still being super lightweight, which is nice and it is legal. Now, if you wanna pick up this one for yourself, it's $99, linked in the description down below, and it is worn by Leonard Williams. Now, the second option, if you want a little more visibility, but still want that same style and aggressive look, is gonna be the SF-2EG-TX. That means it's gonna be the Texas style bars, but the 2EG means you have eye guards on the side and you have a larger gap of visibility in here. This is someone that wants a little bit more visibility than the TX offers, but still having that aggressive style, which is good for anyone trying to grab onto it. Now, if you want this one, it's $109, so $10 more than that, and it is worn by Jeffrey Simmons on the Titans. So those first two options are gonna be my best recommendations for anyone that's a D tackle, or sometimes a DN that plays you know, more like a D lineman. But there are lots of DNs out there that play more like a linebacker, and in that case, you might want something with a little bit more visibility. For them, I'm actually gonna go with the SF-2EG-SW. The main thing is it's going to be a very open face mask like this style, not a lot of bars in the middle, but it would have the 2EG, the eye guards on it on this mask here. Now that mask is actually really popular among linemen and there's a couple different versions of it. There's the uh, one with three bars in the middle that Aaron Donald wears. Um, I personally like this style, I, you know, the one extra bar, you can add it if you'd like. Uh, either way, I'll have it linked in the description down below. But that one is popularly worn by guys like Chase Young and it is a little bit cheaper as well. It's $89. Okay, now if you are going with a more open style face mask, a lot of guys are starting to wear visors with that combination. The reason is because if you have guys with your hands, hands to the face, all that kind of stuff, and you are playing on a turf field, if you get any of those pellets on the fingers of your opponent and their, their fingers get too close to your eyes, you get pellets in your eyes, it's not fun. So for anyone that is on a turf field, we usually do recommend a couple different visor options for you. Now you can go with a visor on a built one like this as well. You can see it does fit, but the visors are definitely more popular with this model here as you just have so much more room for fingers to get in. Nevertheless, my favorite visor to recommend is going to be the Shock Zero G. That is Shock's visor that is specifically made for the Speed Flex. Zero G stands for zero gap on the top here. So it is made to fit this and it fits it perfect. But if you want to wear exactly what the pros wear, because the Oakley is the NFL sponsor, no pros are going to be wearing this shock visor. They're all going to be wearing an Oakley one. So we'll have a link for that down below. Shock visors are around $45 and Oakley's a little bit more expensive, averaging around 70, depending on the one you look at. But a bunch of guys do wear visors in the NFL, including DeForest Buckner, Jeffrey Simmons, Chase Young, and Leonard Williams. Guys, support for the series is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. Guys, I picked up the performance package for myself and it comes with a lot of fantastic products inside. In this package, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0, the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Ball Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and this sick travel bag to keep it all stored in. 
Now, if you're like me in the football season, you tape your wrists and you do a full tape on your ankles. And if you're really hairy, a lot of that hair gets ripped off every single week and it can be super painful. Well, instead of going through that, just using Lawnmower 4.0, take a little bit of that bulk out, maybe even go bald if you want for the football season. And that is a fantastic way to help reduce some of that pain. I promise you, you will thank me come football season. Guys, it's time to start taking care of yourself. Go to manscaped.com and use code TOUCHDOWN20 at checkout for 20% off your entire order plus free worldwide shipping. Again, that's 20% off with code TOUCHDOWN20 at checkout, including 20% off and free worldwide shipping. It'll be the first link in the description down below. All right, back to the video. Okay, the next accessory we're gonna look at is gonna be by far one of the easiest ways to upgrade your helmet setup, and that's gonna be a chin strap. Now, when I was doing my research, a lot of NFL guys actually still prefer the Riddell Hard Cups chin strap with their speed flexes, and I don't really know why when you have such a better option out there like the Sportstar Victory T-Rex Hurricane chin strap. Now, I have one on that helmet setup right now, and I have another one here. What makes this unique is gonna be the padding on the inside. You can see this Hurricane design really hugs your chin well. XD is this extra deep cup here, so if it's really Really nice and tight around your chin and the foam in here is antimicrobial which means it helps against zits. I personally love sports star chin straps. They're not a sponsor. I've just really liked them for a really long time. Tons of customization too. If you do want to pick up one of these, we have a link in the description down below. And Chase Young is going to be one of the most notable guys I've seen wearing a sports star lately. Okay, next we're going to talk about mouth guards. Now, I kind of think there's two different schools of thought with mouth guards that you can go in. So if you're a D tackle or you know a D end or something, you don't do a lot of communicating. You can go with something a little bit thicker. There's a couple different styles, but sometimes people like a still very thin, low profile mouth guard. Now, if you're like me and you like a low profile mouth guard, I prefer Sisu mouth guards. They come as a flat sheet that you boil and bite and put them in. I just find they're the thinnest and easiest out there as far as remolding goes, taking care of them. They're only like 35 bucks, come in a ton of different colors and they're super easy to talk and breathe in. But a lot of D linemen also prefer something a little bit bigger like a lip guard style mouth guard. Lip guards cover your entire lips and it's a piece with like a soother that you can suck on there. Now, depending on the brand you look at, some have an air vent and some don't, which you know is gonna make it harder to breathe depending on the option you go with. But there are tons of lip guards out there. There's Battle, Loudmouth, Next Trend, Shock Doctor. There's really tons of options out there. So I'll link a bunch in the description down below. Now, as far as guys that wear these lip guards, your two big ones are you're gonna think of are Aaron Donald and Von Miller. And I don't actually know of anyone that actively wears specifically a Sisu. Okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be the shoulder pads. Now, like I said in the old lineman video, it's not the 1970s anymore. Linemen want very slim, small pads that gives them just the amount of protection they need with not a lot extra. If you look at someone like Fletcher Cox, he is wearing the smallest pad possible and for good reason. All linemen are looking for is the smallest chest plate possible. That means there's less material to grab onto. Still protects them in areas like the armpits and D linemen want a little bit bigger cups than O linemen because if they hit the running back, they want to still protect their shoulders. Now, I was originally going to recommend the Riddell CPK shoulder pads that are worn by Chase Young and Nick Bosa. That is a good option. But the other one I was looking at was X-Tech. Uh, these were worn by Aaron Donald and the reality is they're like 40 bucks more than a pair of Riddell CPKs. There's just so many more options that you can customize on them. So I feel like they're a little bit better bang for your buck and they're also super lightweight. But if you want either of them, I'll link both in the description down below. The Riddell CPKs are $500 and the X-Tech are $540 without adding any extra add-ons to them. All right, next thing we're gonna talk about are gonna be your arms. Now there's a ton of different options out there for arms. You can pretty much do anything you want. A lot of linemen like to wear the sleeves for protection, but I don't see that as popular as D linemen. Uh, D linemen like to accessorize a little more and they seem to be not as worried about the protection like the elbow sleeves that O linemen wear. Now, as far as arms goes, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Everyone wears something different. A couple of really good examples will be TJ Watt likes to wear a padded arm sleeve on one arm. I think that's a really clean look. Whereas a guy like David Onyemata likes to wear bands on his arms. Not as popular anymore, especially amongst D linemen, but I still think looks really clean. So there are a bunch of different options out there that you wanna wear as far as bands, sleeves, elbow pads, any of that kind of stuff. Again, I'll link a bunch in the description down below you can check out. Next one we're gonna look at are going to be the gloves. Now the most popular option among D linemen has actually been a padded receiver glove. When I was doing my research, I thought it was gonna be the Nike D-Tech, but it wasn't. It was actually a padded receiver glove. Now I have two options for those here if you guys wanna check them out. We have the Nike Superbad 6.0 and the Adidas Freak 5. Now although most D linemen actually prefer the Nike Superbad 6.0, I prefer the Adidas Freak 5. The reason being is I feel like the fingers on the 
Nike Super Bad are way too skinny for my hands, so I feel like anyone which, which has bigger, more sausage-like fingers, you're gonna have better luck with the Adidas Freak. As far as any other differences between them, there's not a lot. They both have really good ventilation, padding on the back of the hand. Don't forget this receiver grip on the inside isn't gonna last as long as like a Nike uh, DTAC Hydro Grip. But yeah, I think a lot of D linemen prefer this because I think they still think there's gonna be that time where they do end up catching a pass one day and they wanna be ready. Uh, so I could see why linebackers or D end outside linebacker type positions and some D tackles still prefer to wear a padded receiver glove. Now, if you wanna pick up either of these, they'll be linked in the description down below. They're 45 bucks. Specifically, the Nike Superbed 6.0 are worn by guys like TJ Watt, Vita Vea, and Akeem Hicks. The other option you have, which is not as popular and I'd recommend specifically for D tackles, is gonna be the Nike DTAC 6. Now, the reason I like these is the Hydro Grip on the inside I feel is more durable than a receiver grip, which is good for grabbing onto jerseys and the overall life of a glove. The padding on the back is really nice and thick as well. It has some ventilation, but it's not the best. Again, for some reason, a less popular option among D linemen, but I still think a good general overall lineman glove, especially if you do play both ways, this would be the one I would personally go with. If you want to pick up these, I think they're 65 bucks, and these are worn by guys like Calais Campbell and Jerry Tillery. All right, the last thing we have to talk about is going to be cleats. Now, guys, cleats is really tricky right now. Because of supply chain issues, Nike did not drop any new cleats this year. Adidas hasn't come out with a lineman-specific cleat at this point. They did drop the Freak 22, which we will have a review on coming soon. Subscribe so you do not miss that video. But at this point, I'm going to talk about the cleats that came out last year. I'm going to have links to these. It's going to be really hard to find sizing, so definitely check back closer to the season as any of them came back in stock. Now the most popular cleats for a D tackle are gonna be something with a lot of ankle support, a really good traction plate, and a good amount of protection. Whereas DNs sometimes prefer, again, a little bit of those same things, but they're willing to give up a little bit of that ankle support and protection for a little bit lighter of a cleat and something that allows them to move around a little bit quicker. For D tackle, these are gonna be your two best options. You're gonna have the Nike Force Savage Pro 2s and the Jordan 10 or the Jordan 1. These are gonna be your best bet to find right now. These are the Nike Force Savage Pro 2s. A couple things I really like about these, they do have this textured material on the toe here, which is really good to shear cleats off the side and protect your feet. Nice high ankle strap on there to strap you in and a really good beefy traction plate. If you wanna pick these up, I think they're 140 bucks right now. I'll have them linked in the description down below. These are worn by Jonathan Bullard and Jaron Reed. Again, another option for D-Tackle if you're looking for still really high ankle support but want something a little more breathable and potentially a little bit lighter, you're gonna have the Jordan line. The Jordan 10 and the Jordan 1s were the commercially available ones. Again, really hard to find right now though. The one drawback with these is they have the older style lunar traction plate on here, but they are still very comfortable. The circle studs just aren't as good as that newer updated version. But those Jordan 1s are worn by guys like Nick Bosa and DJ Jones. Now, if you are a DN that you know plays a little more inside, you can definitely go with one of those other options. But if you want something a little lighter weight that gives you a little bit more speed, the two options we would have would be the Nike Alpha Menace Pro 2s or the Freak 22s, which we don't have our hands on yet, but I think they're gonna be really good, so I'll link them down below. Now, these have the same traction plate as those four Savage Pros, which is really good for getting up field and digging your feet in the ground, but the ankle support is slightly lower and a little bit lighter, but less protective upper. These are a great cleat and they are a little bit cheaper. I think these are 89 or 109 right now. Again, link down below. These are worn by DJ Reader and Brandon Graham. Now, like I said, I don't have the Adidas Freak 22s yet, but they look comparable to those, so when we get them in, we'll make sure to put a full review on them. Subscribe down below so you don't miss that video. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything that you should be considering as a D lineman. Links to everything in the description down below. If you have a video idea, comment that down below as well. Thanks for watching another episode of Footballers.